Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Books and Bobs, my name is Rob and today I am bringing you my August wrap up. So without further ado, let's get started. For my August wrap up, I read a total of five books, which is okay. I expected to read a bit more this month, but unfortunately I started a few big books again that will translate over into my September wrap up. So they're not in this one, so I won't include it in, but I did finish up early in September. But unfortunately that only meant that I read five books this month, which isn't too bad, but I expected a lot more. So the first book that I read in August is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, written by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany and Jack Thorne. And I feel like this is going to go against what everyone else is saying on booktube. I really, really, really enjoyed this book slash play slash whatever else you want to call it. I know that it wasn't written exclusively by J.K. Rowling, but I think that John Tiffany and Jack Thorne made a fantastic job of making a story and hopefully translating it well to the play. I will admit, while I was reading this, I absolutely loved it. Now, I don't know whether I loved it because I you know, suffered from massive nostalgia while reading the book, or I was just so excited to get through it. But really, honestly, from page one to the very end, I absolutely love this book. I love the characters, I loved how they were written, and I went into it expecting to read a play as opposed to reading the next Harry Potter book. So I really wasn't expecting to get, you know, massive amounts of character development, massive amounts of time with these characters, but I really appreciate the time that we did get with the characters, and I really, really liked the eighth Harry Potter story. Now, don't get me wrong, there are so I give this five stars because I absolutely marathoned it, I was smiling from ear to ear for the whole time that I was reading the book, and absolutely really enjoyed it. The second book that I read in August was The Before Now and After Then by Peter Mann, and you may know him from his channel over at Peter Likes Books, or however way he says it every video. Peter, keep doing the intros, I love them. I would say this is kind of a YA slash middle grade novel, not particularly sure, a kind of coming of age novel, and I have to admit, I really enjoyed this. I listened to it on audiobook, so that was kind of another way of interpreting the characters as, you know, like each one kind of had a specific voice. Um, I have to say, it's not my favorite book ever, but I, it was a great read. I give it about four out of five stars on Goodreads. It kind of deals with our main character after his identical twin has passed away. And it's just basically a coming of age story for him um, about him coming to grips with being gay and just living his life with it. I will say there were two kind of aspects that really annoyed me about this book. One being the character Cher. I hated her. Like, really? Really? Oh god, every time she was in a scene I just absolutely hated her and I just wanted her to be out of this book completely. And number two, the insta-love that we see in the book. It's just... Uh, if you're looking for kind of a, a quick read and a good story and great characters, except for Cher, definitely give this book a go and I could only recommend the audiobook. And see Peter, I told you I'd read your book and give it a rating for you, so definitely. There we go. The next book that I read in August was More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera and let me just start out by saying you need to read this book. It has definitely made the rounds on booktube but I haven't seen anyone outside of the states do a review on it or talk about it in their wrap up. I love this new paperback, I love the new cover that was made for it. I think the original one kind of had a happy face in the background which is very important to the story if you read it. But just a quick thing about the plot is we follow our main character after he has this massive tragic backstory um, after a suicide in the family and then he it's another kind of coming of age story where he's getting to grips with being gay and also there is an interesting institute called the Latio Institute where they can actually alter people's memories and make them forget certain aspects of their life. It really kind of plays an interesting part so it's set in modern day New York but then it has this kind of fantastical aspect to it and there is a massive twist in the book which I really did not expect so definitely read this book it is so fantastic give it five out of five stars and would read again 100% keeping this on my shelves absolutely fantastic definitely pick this book up if it sounds interesting to you because I guarantee you will not be disappointed the next book that I read was the summer that melted everything by Tiffany McDaniel and I did a full video review for this book down below the author herself was kind enough to contact me and ask me would I like a free copy that is why I have the physical copy of this book and I can confirm 
confirm that this is the final cover because I have seen it in an Eason's located near me recently. Definitely would 100% recommend this book. This was another 5 out of 5 star rating for me. I absolutely loved it. It took very little to get into this book and the characters were fantastic. There's a very To Kill a Mockingbird feel to this book, but it's set in the 80s and absolutely fantastic. This was compelling and oh my god, really tugged at my heartstrings. And the final book that I read in August is Neon Genesis Evangelion Volumes 1, 2 and 3. Uh, this is a manga that has been out for years and it is set in, I think, our time now. Like it was published in the 1980s or so and it is a mecha manga, so definitely big robots fighting big monsters. So very kind of typical Japanese manga aspect to it. I give this about three out of five stars. The artwork is gorgeous in this and the sizing of it is really nice. It's nice to have a bit of a bigger manga book because then you can definitely appreciate the artwork more. But there was something just... I've even tried to watch the anime of this and I've never really stuck with it so there is something that is just a bit that keeps me a bit disconnected from the characters and something that I really kind of you know don't I don't know, like, it's not that I didn't enjoy it, but I didn't enjoy it as much as other books. Three out of five stars, and will read the next volume in the series as I have it behind me. It's interesting, definitely one to kind of tide you over if you're looking for something to read, and of course it's a manga, so it's a quick read. But some of the characters are great in it, some are not so great, and that is kind of what keeps this about middle of the road for me. So there you have it guys, the five books that I read in August. Uh, if you have any comments or any questions about these books, leave them down below. I'd be more than happy to continue the conversation with you guys and answer any questions or any comments you have about them. If you would like to see more from me, follow me on my social media. I'll leave all my links down below to my Twitter, Goodreads and Instagram. And please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and you would like to see more videos from me when I post them in the future. That is it from me guys and I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you all again soon in another video. Goodbye!